Today's video is on jelly plate printing with Tyvek circles and stencils. And after we cut the Tyvek circles, I'm gonna experiment with an overhead camera angle. And you can let me know, please let me know if you prefer that or the traditional um, format that I've been showing you all along. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want is your Tyvek circles. I've got some that I've used here before, and some of you have asked, how do you make them? It's really quite simple. Tyvek is readily available. You can purchase it, or sometimes a priority letter it comes in a Tyvek envelope. Then just cut a circle shape. And I've really enjoyed them being not regular. I use a um, exacto or a utility knife to cut the inner circle and I like to make it irregular because it just gives a more I don't know better result the first circles I cut were um, measured and precise and this just is better cut yourself some circles and then when you choose your stencils it's better to have ones with angles in them because it's a good contrast to the circles all right I think you get the idea here so I'm gonna move this away this is a self-healing mat which sounds very interesting I've tried standing on it but just kidding. All right, so we'll move this away. I do have a new nonstick craft mat, so that's what you're seeing here. So I'm gonna get out the jelly plate and we'll get to printing. Um, now that we've got our circles cut, we're going to get some base prints, use some stencils, and uh, use our circles. I've got a piece of rice paper to brayer off with here. I'm using three different brayers to try to not pollute my paints. I've got some stencils here, including one I just cut myself that's sort of a, a checkerboard. And I've got my favorite rice paper here to print with. So let's start with a nice dark base because I want to play with a little bit of interference pigment today. So this is carbon black, anthroquinone blue, now that I know you can get it again. And we will brayer this out. Really nice dark. And I'm doing this dark because I want to use the interference pigments. And they show up over dark. So, okay. Beautiful. Dark looking very uh, cosmic. So, let's put out some interference blue. Interference violet. And maybe some interference green. And we'll brayer that out. And let's use this um, checkerboard uh, stencil here that I cut. Certainly you can do this yourself. Um, I want to do it again even less regular of a checkerboard pattern. Uh, but for today we've got this one, so... Oh, that's just so fun. I really do like this. I'm probably not going to want to cover it up. Gosh, that's fun. I love it. Let's just put set down some dark. I don't know if what kind of success we're going to have with lifting this up with the interference pigment on here. That was phthalo blue green shade, a little bit of black. Let's use some ultramarine blue and we'll brayer that out. And we'll see what we get here. Wow, that's pretty super subtle though. So let's do a stencil over that and then we'll have two that we can play with our circles. And since this is still dark, we'll do some uh, interference gold, some iridescent bright gold, a little bit of white here. Use this lighter brayer. And let's use this new stencil here from Joggles. I'll leave the information below. So we're using this one to go over here. Boy, 
Boy, I can really tell the difference. It's a little bit humid here today, and boy, does that shift everything for the jelly plate. That's looking good, though. And now I've got to decide what I want to have over the top of this for the circles. Wow. Yeah, so both of these I'm feeling attached to, and it's going to be a little bit hard to cover over those. Okay, now let's pick this one up, too. I'm feeling kind of a brown, neutrally. Let's do a Van Dyke brown, quinacridone burnt orange, and a little bit of the nickel azo gold. And we'll brayer that out. We'll use a darker, use this. This one makes a lot of noise, so I apologize. There we go, we got it. Whoops, we're leaving some on the plate there, so let's see. Okay, let's start with this one with the circles because I'm most willing to give up this result. And what color should we do over that? How about a nice green? So we're gonna use some sap green, green gold with the Liquitex. Hmm, I don't know why I'm hearing teal, but I am, and we'll use a little bit of white on top of that. Wish I had my golden white, but I didn't have it open and ready, so we're using the Liquitex. And we'll lay out the circles in just whatever way uh, feels right to you. I mean, honestly, just irregularity is best, your friend here. Let's give that a try. Wow. Well, so that's a super fun effect with the circles. Now let's just keep going. And I know I don't really want this green on either of the other two pieces, but I can start a base here with this for another piece. So I'm gonna use white and a little iridescent gold. We'll have this as a base for another piece. There we go, beautiful start, beautiful base. Already got some interest in it. Let's just clean off the plate. There we go. All right, now for this one, gosh. Oh, it's so pretty already. Kind of feeling some light blue on top of that. I've really been wanting to get sort of a periwinkle and I'm not achieving the color I want. That was teal. We used some white, some ultramarine blue, and a tiny bit of Dilusion's crushed grape. I don't think that's light enough. It is getting more periwinkle though. Okay, that's pretty. All right, so let's put our circles out. And we will see what this looks like. Goodbye, beautiful <laughs> beginning. Wow, though, this looks really great. Oh my goodness, that's a beautiful result. Let's just pick this up with um, over the green, why not? And keep building up a base here. And then we'll do one more over our checkerboard. I haven't even tried that yet, so we'll see how that looks. Okay, uh, again, this is just a base. We'll do something spectacular over that. All right, now for this, let's do gold. Uh, we'll do a little bit of white. I'm feeling the nickel azo gold on this one. Let's see if that's enough. Looks like it. All right, one more time, one more time with the circles. Although I'm gonna probably be putting the, the ghost on top of this here. All right. Right down there. Oh my goodness, yep. And what do we got underneath there? See, that's the thing about the jelly plate, a surprise. All right, well, that's my favorite. Love that. Definitely wanna pick this up. Not what I expected, but we've got a checkerboard print on here. Oh, I think a nice neutrally brown. Actually, I'm hearing Van Dyke brown. I'm hearing some bronze. Yeah. And some quinacridone burnt orange. And we'll just pick this up. Wow. Wowzers. Super exciting. 
Just love the jelly plate. Okay, what's this gonna look like? Well, I like it, but I think it's just a base. Carbon black, Van Dyke brown. And we're gonna do the stencil over that now and see what happens. Or, what do you think? Which one? Which one? All right, this one. I heard you. Gosh, it's really sitting on the plate there. Okay, that's looking good. All right, very cool. Uh, should we do the circles over that one more time? Well, first we gotta pick this up, of course. So I guess we're gonna pull this up with a little bit of lavender. Wow. Okay, great addition to the uh, combo here. Yeah, let's just do circles over that now with do white interference gold, although I'm not sure we're gonna see that. Gold. Okay, last time I promise. All right, so this one. Yeah. All right, there we go. Beautiful. My two favorites, super fun. Definitely these two will go well in a piece together. So I'm gonna work on that um, and see what I come up with as well. All right, this is Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. Thank you so much and I hope you had fun and see you next time.